Hey yo, welcome everybody to the first video of Game Raiders Week 3. If you don't know what Game Raiders Week means, it means that I'm going to try and post a video every day of this week and we'll see how it turns out. Today's video, we're going to see what bosses the Infinity Gauntlet from Thorium can and cannot kill. We're going to try vanilla bosses and we're going to try modded bosses. But before we hop into that, I have a new YouTube channel by the name of VOD Raiders 101. And what this YouTube channel is for is for my Twitch live streams. I'm going to be posting all my Twitch live streams on that YouTube channel. And if you want to watch all the streams, they will be there. For example, we did a 100% complete playthrough of Forager on there and the Terraria Defender class streams that I've been doing, which is me playing through a whole new class in Terraria, that will be on there. And pretty much maybe even future playthroughs will be on there. So make sure to subscribe. The link will be in the description. Maybe it'll even be in the comments. But yeah, check out that second channel. It would help a lot. Let's hop into the video. So let me lay out some ground rules before we move on to the video. So every time a boss dies from the snap, the and actually just dies i'm talking about doesn't go down to one health and is unkillable after that because you'll see this a lot in this video that a boss will go to one health and we keep snapping and snapping and nothing happens if a boss does that and goes down to one health and we keep snapping and it doesn't die that is not considered killable with the infinity gauntlet what i consider killable is if we snap boom the boss dies instantly or maybe not instantly it might take a couple snaps but as long as the boss is fully dying from the snap and not living at one health that is considered killable with a snap so the mod I'm using to spawn everything in is called Cheat Sheet. We're going to go ahead and just go through a couple of the vanilla bosses. Let's start with King Slime and see if one snap kills him. Boom. Easily one snap killed him. Now, the gauntlet eliminates, what, half of the universe. So if there's a boss that spawns in like a bunch of minions, like how does that work? Will it kill the boss or is there a chance to kill the boss? See, that's the real question. Let's go ahead. Let's make it nighttime. Spawn in Skeletron. He's got hands and he's got head, a head. So let's see. Okay, yeah, that, that, that killed him. That killed him in one try. Let's go ahead. Let's try the Eye of Cthulhu then. Yep, died in one hit or one snap as expected. Let's try uh, Retinizer and Spasmatism and see. All right, it killed both of them. It killed both of them. So, so far, it's just tearing through everything. No problem at all. Tearing through everything. Oh, the Destroyer living with one health after the snap. But then I can literally just like touch him and he's dead but i don't know it's, he's the first one to survive a, a single snap maybe it's because he has a bunch of body parts i don't know yeah i can't even kill him even after snapping him once so we'll put him on the list of survivors then because he did not die in one snap he's not dying from another snap the destroyer is the first one to survive a snap we're here we got the wall of flesh we're gonna see if he can die in one hit the thing i was saying about this look how there's a bunch of hungries right what happens doesn't oh What in the hell is going on? I have no idea what happened right there with the wall of flesh. Very interesting. We'll consider him to die in one hit because I think I snapped only once. But yeah, let's go ahead. The Moon Lord. The Moon Lord does have multiple parts, so we're going to see how this works. Okay, it killed both of his hands. Did it kill his eye, though? I have no idea. Get it? I have no idea. You like it? That's a good joke. Come on, open your eye. Top eye. Look, it almost killed his top eye. So that took about what? One, two, three. I killed both of his hands in one snap, killed his eye in two snaps, killed his chest or his core in three. Did I snap a fourth time? I don't know. So we'll say around four snaps. I don't know because if we counted how we counted the destroyer, well, no, the destroyer wouldn't die no matter if we snap 30 more times after or not. So yeah, we'll put the, we'll put the moon Lord on killable list. So far, it seems like the destroyer is the only one that we couldn't kill. So we are now going to test out Thorium's bosses. I think we should test out Abyssion first. You know, Abyssion enrages too when he's out of water. So let's see how this works. Oh, I mean, yeah, that, that was pretty much one snap. The other snaps just weren't hitting him. Obviously, there's only one boss we want to see from Thorium. All the other ones I expect to die in one snap. But everyone wants to see the Ragnarok, of course. What the, is that? Has to be nighttime to fight them. Boom. So there's three bosses here. They all have multiple phases. And then there's like a final phase. So I'm very interested to see how this works. No, this gauntlet is from Thorium's mod, so I expect it to work pretty well. That was one snap. Two, we kill. Nope, we didn't kill anyone with that one. Three, that's three snaps. They all have low health. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, so so far it seems like they're they're not dying. They're not dying from any more snaps. They just get to one health. So if we finish them off, the game is frozen. Don't crash. The game has completely frozen. I've never had this happen before. I think the game crashed. Good luck. 
So out of fear that the game will crash again, we're not gonna fight Ragnarok. Uh, we'll just test out, I don't know, the Lich? That's it, we'll test out the Lich. And that's all, no, 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 no blue move. That's from the spirit mod if you wanna know. The Lich, boom, snap. And just like that, both of his phases gone in one single snap. But yeah, let's go ahead and move on to another boss. We're gonna try out uh, Atlas from the spirit mod. The spirit mod, I haven't installed this mod in a good minute. Watch this, Atlas about to come through. Oh, why you gotta stomp me already? See you later, Atlas gone just like that so yeah most of these bosses i do expect to die in one snap but i don't know some of them might have a gimmick where they just can't be killed for example i expect most of the uh, calamity bosses to have a gimmick where they just don't die because that seems like you know something that calamity has a little fail safe for is not having mods other mods be able to one tap most of its enemies and bosses which is uh kind of cool kind of dumb at the same time doesn't allow people to freely mess around look at that we killed the overseer one of the hardest bosses in spirit mod in just one nice clamshell click because this sounds like clamshells listen i don't know is it, is it just me sounds like slapping two clamshells together so we have elements awoken installed too we're gonna test out azana which is one of the hardest bosses in that mod you know i had troubles finding this boss back in the ranger playthrough i think it was so let's see all right, it took two snaps and it did one shot. It did one shot. It's just the first snap, I guess, didn't register and the second snap fucked her up. Or maybe the first snap killed half of the universe and she wasn't a part of it. See, that's what I'm thinking with the snaps is that it kills half of the universe. Sometimes I think the other half of the universe, the boss that I'm trying to snap out of existence, isn't in the half. They got lucky. They're in the other half, the half that gets to live. So, uh, Zana got lucky right there. You got lucky. Oh, maybe he's more than lucky. Okay, never mind. Spoke too soon. Let's go ahead. Let's do some juice mod bosses. Obviously, start with Cactar. Boom. Dead. Just like that. See you later. Let's do uh, SAX, which uh, this boss does have three phases or two phases. So let's see. Didn't get hit by the first snap. Keeps on freezing me, even though I'm in God mode. Died to the second snap. Didn't get hit by that snap. Not that one. Okay, that. Oh, I snapped once and it killed both of the phases. Interesting how that works. See what I'm saying? Like, are they getting lucky and they're on the side of the universe that lives or what? I have no idea. Let's go ahead. Let's do uh, Gilgamesh now. I don't know which one is which. See this. Because these two spawn together. Boom. That's one dead. And the question is... Does he go to the second phase? He does go to the second phase. Oh my god. All right. Well, yeah, he died. He didn't resist anything. But yeah, so far, like I said, the destroyer is the only one to resist the whole entire snap or dying from the snap, which is very, very interesting. Let's go ahead. We're going to move on to a boss from G Realm now, and that is the Manted Matriarch. There's a bunch of bosses in here that I have never heard about, uh, so we're just not going to touch those bosses. But the Manted Matriarch, this crashed my game let's move on to what we've been waiting for and that is calamity bosses because it seems like every other boss from certain mods just crashed my game and this is the most i've ever had my game crash in a long time but it's all good oh shit i'm not in god mode okay here goes ready provenance one of the first like big bosses you fight in post moon lord boom 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 okay so far nothing is dying okay they're all at one health Oh god. All these guys are at one health. Not dying. And the game has crashed. What the? F so there's a certain boss we all want to see here, and that is Devourer of Gods. But if you watch my original Infinity Gauntlet video, you know, he was at the end of that video. But you know, let's let's just test him out again. You know, make sure that he dies in one click. Pretty much. He's got one health. Again. A lot of bosses seem to get to this one health point and then just not die after that and you just have to you know literally just hit him once and oh god here we go we got the ceaseless void okay he died in one hit but do i have to kill these things do those die in one hit now look he's at one health too so it seems like a majority of calamity bosses are not affected by like you know completely dying in one hit from it but you can get them to one health but in terms of you know one hit just snapping once and killing them it's just not possible they all live with one health same thing with the uh destroyer oh god we got part two coming up come on come on we just want to see your health evaporize where you at okay there you go he's at one health again try and snap a couple more times yeah see it's not working 
all right just get them out of here yeah all of those bosses they got to one health and i just couldn't snap them anymore hey at least the bosses didn't crash my game at least the bosses didn't crash my game maybe it's the way that i'm spawning them in is making them crash the game i don't know that 100 percent could be possible but let's go ahead we're gonna put it to the test on yarn let me go to the jungle all right here we are in the jungle let's go ahead and put it to the test against yarn i'm expecting the same results in turn of in terms of uh you know getting into one health well, we'll see yeah it looks like it's just gonna stay at one health you just yelling at me kind of rude I don't, I don't yell at you look at him you're being an asshole right now all right bro all right he, i think we actually did kill him with a snap because he just left just straight up just left unless i hit him with a hammer somehow he had one health and he just left i don't know we gotta try it again because <laughs> that shit confused me if i'm being honest okay gonna scream at me a couple times i'm snapping I'm snapping uh-huh okay yeah so it does kill him okay this is really weird <laughs> This is, this is getting really weird we're getting some very uh not consistent outcomes right now like non-consistent equations we're not even doing math equations so there is one more boss that i want to see from calamity and that is obviously supreme cal supreme cal a boss that i've only beaten once or twice i know i beat them once during a throwing playthrough and that's because somebody during a live stream donated 60 dollars to me and told me to fight her and i was like all right i'll fight her i'll beat her and we did it right there all in that stream that was a great legendary stream i don't remember if i no i do remember that it is a part of the actual episode where i fight supreme calamitas in the uh, throwing character but yeah let's do it boom let's see how this goes i'm expecting uh not a lot we're in god mode so i don't honestly expect to have to dodge much here watch this oh oh apparently that still hit me whoa what am i hitting am i doing damage to anything yet okay that oh wait 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 i remember what we have to do you have to kill these things yes wait snap that one can we snap that one there you go oh can't reach it kill these things and then we can damage her right oh shit it's fucking the dirty bubble from spongebob oh look she has one health she has one health i can't even snap her away though so we just do that and there you go that was extremely uh easy i thought it was gonna make me go through like a bunch of more phases before i you know beat her but no nah, i'll take it she was just talking up a storm bro she dropped like 10 lines of dialogue before it let me kill her yeah there's a couple more bosses we're gonna test out here and these are other bosses that i'm anticipating a lot from and that is the elemental unleash bosses right here blue magic's mod so let's start off with the spirit of purity which we need to summon by doing this and then placing a bunny right in front of it and killing the bunny r.i.p okay i guess i did not switch to the right weapon so we're fighting you first one health just like that can we get him any lower nope just one health and then we just do that boom will i somehow be killed i don't know okay i i was in god mode let's uh let's try this again spirit of purity this time though hopefully we don't die in god mode this time i don't, we'll see though one health can't get them any lower than one health as you can hear me trying so then we just tap them once and that's it i'm gonna assume this one is killable too you saw we did get it to one snap and then boom oh shit please don't kill me what i just die <laughs> last but not least the ritual of bunnies aka the spirit of purity rematch which is not as cool of a name in my opinion but this is one of the hardest bosses in the game never fought or never beaten this boss so uh we're gonna see how this goes and uh hopefully it does nearly one hit you know how it is let's just see phantom must be defeated first all right well you guys get to see the phantom get clapped in a second so uh here you go killable one snap yep well, pretty much one snap we, we get the gist at this point a lot of these bosses you snap them once and they just live you snap them once you, you gotta snap multiple times apparently you snap and they just don't die you just gotta hit them with something but some of the bosses you know they die in one snap so it's kind of weird it is really kind of weird all right let's go ahead let's do it now boom i said boom oh my god they're gonna make me fight everything so it seems like the abomination is one of the first bosses in a while that dies to the actual snap as you can see look at that that's weird it really is weird there has to be like some sort of threshold that some of these bosses have that you know give them resistance to getting snapped it's gonna make me fight the spirit of chaos isn't it 
I don't want to. The spirit of chaos has no health bar. Oh, spoke too soon. What the fuck? All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this first video of Game Raiders week three. We will see how this week goes. I'm going to obviously try my best to post a video every day this week. But if I miss a miss a day, miss a day or two, you know, it happens. Well, I'll try my best to post every day. But if I get really busy, because sometimes I get really busy out of nowhere, then, uh, you know, sadly, there won't be a video. Maybe there'll be a stream. Speak about live streams. At the beginning of the video, if you didn't hear already, VOD Raiders 101. The link is going to be in the description. It might even be in the comment section, too. Go subscribe to that channel if you want to see playthroughs and streams and also make sure to leave a like and subscribe we're on our road to 60k i love you guys full homo no homo whatever you want it to be